Hey there, welcome. Hello, this is Rhonda Del Baccio, the Crafty Blind Girl, and I have a new to me, brand new type of craft project. I've seen people do albums, and I always thought, well, that's really cool. No idea how to make one. Well, I caught a video from Amber at Lyric Lover Crafts, and she said this is her new favorite mini album and showed how to do it and I watched it and went well I could do that so if you want to try this I'm not doing a tutorial I'm just doing a flippy but uh, my blah in my description or show notes you're going to see the link to the video from Amber at Lyric Lover Crafts and you can find out how to do it okay so this is a an album and I'll mention a couple things I did slightly differently from her there's not you know, there's a lot of different ways to do something, and it's just kind of fun. So in her mini album, she had a ribbon closure, and I did sort of a, you know, a book closure where this makes a flap. This project uses a lot of paper, which is kind of cool, and I had a paper pad called Wild Flourishes, and so most of the papers are from that. And then these were some, uh, they had a couple of pages that were journal cards. And this is a double-sided paper. So I thought, hey, I really like that. You know, positive energy. So this is my little positive energy album. On the inside, I made a sort of a shelf layer of pockets. So there actually are three different pockets in here. And some little goodies that happen to be in that paper pad um, are in the uh, pockets. So that's really fun. And then here are, there are six signatures or six little bundles to decorate. So here's the first one. And this has a little secret pocket. Well, it's not that secret. I mean, there's a thing. Now, here's something I want to mention about this cutout. A lot of times I've heard people about using a circle punch, a one or two inch circle punch or whatever and making that. Um, or you can use an, an envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, but that makes just a little bitty, bitty groove, and I thought this was kind of larger. Well, here is my little innovation. I went, hmm, you know what I have? I have a hot air balloon punch from Stampin' Up! And in that hot air balloon punch, well, you have, it's not a circle, but it's it's a nice way to make that. So that's what I used to make my little indentations to make the little pockets. Okay, so there's that. And this is so cute, it's just the paper is really um, doing most of the work. Okay, so for here, I just did a tear and made a tuck spot or a pocket, put in one of the cards. You know, if you wanted to put down some white paper for journaling, you could. Just depends on what you might want to do with the album. And here I did the same thing with a pocket, but instead I just put that over the top. Oh, I didn't burnish that very well. Let's do a finger burnish. There. Okay, so there's that one. And that one I left the journaling card side instead of the, the words that were on it. This one I did a side pocket, and that did, of course, create a little challenge for gluing the thing together. Um, but I just separated the top for a minute, put it onto its binding, and then re-glued that part. Okay, actually, I guess I didn't put something in there. All right. And I just love these papers. I thought they were so cute. And here's another pocket. And you can put things into that. So that is the super fun project. I did put something in there. I love that paper. That is so cute and bright, bright and vibrant. Keep on smiling. I thought that was a great sentiment to put on that page. So this would be really fun to make a memory album. And here I made another tear pocket for the back and uh, put a couple of cards in there. So a super fun project. 
And um, there's the front of it. Oops, my fingers are working. There we go. And uh, it seals up that way, and you have a six inch album. And then there's the back. So that was super fun. Amber, thank you. Uh, had a really kind of a life lately. My guide dog got cancer and stuff. So I've been kind of, every once in a while, I just know I'm not going to sleep and I start doing a project. So I watched your video yesterday and I stayed up till all hours of the night doing that. And then I had this other little inspo from the way you do that paper fold, which I really loved. So here's what I did. I'm also a card maker. So I made a card. This is just a uh, card size. I mean, you in America, typically it's um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I did that with just some plain paper. I put a, a white, we just call it a white on the back. So if somebody wants to write a little bit more of a message, I used the same fold, taking a six inch piece of paper and doing the same fold she has for a pocket. So look at there's your happy birthday with the butterfly. Here's your little pocket, just like we had in the journal, which I put a card in. And it doesn't really matter that the card would stick out. I mean, you know, it's, it's you can't. It's not that big a deal. So I think it's cute. And then there's a little space for a message or you could do some other stamping or whatever. So that was the same exact fold as the pages in here, but done in a card. So now I'm like, I'm super excited because I always like fun folds. And if you didn't want to do a gift card, you could put in a little photo. You could put in a, a folded note and that they, you know, would reach in and pull out and be able to see. So there's lots of fun things. I think this would be super cute to give kids, maybe put some stickers in the pocket. And if you want a, uh, a bigger notch, you know, you can use your circle punch. Or like for me, I, I had my um, hot air balloon. Um, or you could just cut and make like a V or make a shape or whatever to form the pocket. And then you just glue the outer edge. So lots of variations. So just a huge thank you again to Amber, Lyric Lover Crafts. Check out her videos and thanks for the inspo. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will like and subscribe and tap the bell. And I am going to do a card tutorial using this just because I like showing people fun things to do with cards. So have a great time with that. And please subscribe, like the video, subscribe, tap the bell so you get all my vids right when they come out. And as always, cheers to your blissful life.